W is me. I wanted to meet some new people and do some different things. And I also wanted to be part of an organization that had a social commitment to young women and in the community at large. I want to be a contributing member of an organization where women help women in promoting education, in making friends, in entertaining one another, and in sharing ideas about this world. Women would want to join the AAUW because we have a very fierce commitment to equality and equity for women and girls. And if that's something that you're interested in, this is one of the best venues to help channel that energy. Welcome to AAUW Connections. I'm Emily Thurber and I'm your host. And we're going to have a wonderful show. We're going to talk about barbershop quartets and we're going to hear from the Boomerang Barbershop Quartet who are going to show us a little bit of their craft right now and then we'll talk a little bit later. This is just the kind of day that you dream about when you open up your mouth a song pops out zippity-doo-dah zippity-yay my oh my what a wonderful day Plenty of sunshine heading my way. Zippity doo da, zippity a, Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. It's the truth, it's, it's actual. actual. Oh boy, everything is satisfactual. Zippity doo da, zippity a, a wonderful feeling, a wonderful day. Mr. Bluebird, this is just the kind of day that you dream about. When you open up your mouth, the song pops out. It's the truth. It's the truth, it's actual, it's actual, everything is satisfactual, zippity-doo-dah, zippity-yay, wonderful feeling, wonderful day. Nothing's going right. Just look around and you will find that what you need is inside. Look for the bad. Necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities of Mother Nature's recipes that bring the bare necessities of life. Wherever I wander, wherever I roam, I couldn't be fonder of my big home. The bees are buzzing in the trees to make some honey just for me. The bare necessities of life will come to you. So don't be glum, don't be blue, cause your troubles will be through. All you need the bare necessities of life. The bare Gentlemen, that was just terrific. Thank you. So Thank you. Thank we're you all much. curious about what what is barbershop, and you know who are you? What do you have? What is your name? What can you tell us a little bit well, about yourselves yes. and a little bit about barbershop? Well, barbershop is not just a slang term. It's a very uh, it defines a very precise style of singing. Okay. And one of the things that unique. That's unique about barbershop compared to other styles of ensemble singing is that in barbershop style, the melody of the song is not sung by the highest pitched voice. Okay. The melody is su sung by my friend Ramin Kavan. Morning. And <laughs> Ramin, we call the lead, and he will sing a little melody for you. Terrific. <clears throat> my wild Irish. 
fish rolls, <coughs> the sweetest flower that grows. Oh, very pretty. Not yes. much harmony yes. there. Yes. No harmony. So in order to inject a little harmony, we call <coughs> our bass singer. This is Steve Wolf. And Steve sings a counter melody harmonizing underneath. <laughs> My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. That's about perfect. We can take yeah, that on could, the road. We should yeah. take that on the road. That was pretty about. perfect to me. <laughs> Not we uh, we Not come to the most important part. Oh, here we go. Uh, my, my name is Al Ward, and I am the tenor, and I sing a counter melody harmonizing above the melody of the song. My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. And if you ask me, that's pretty boring. <laughs> oh, um, this is Dave, Dave Morley. Uh, we're a quartet, so we had to have four guys. Okay. And uh, the Dave, math works out better that way. Yeah, Dave doesn't get to sing a melody. He listens to us making three-part chords, and he finds a place to fit a fourth note into each chord, and it's his note that creates the unique sound that is barbershop. So but, I am important. Yeah. yeah, but we would never say that to your face. Is <laughs> yes. So we'll have uh, we'll have Dave demonstrate his bizarre non-melody. <laughs> My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. I think that's kind of pretty. Well, yeah, okay. but when we put it together, what we get is... My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. search everywhere but none can compare with my wild Irish rose my wild Irish rose my rose the dearest flower that grows And someday, for my sake, she may let me take the bloom from my wild Irish rose. My rose, the bloom from my wild Irish rose. That's truly beautiful. Thank it's you. really spectacular. <coughs> so it looks like it's really difficult. So how hard is it to learn to do barbershop? Um, it's not terribly hard to learn how to do it. It's extremely hard to do it well. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that. And, and you do learning. do yeah, it well. We're still learning. <laughs> so um, what, I mean, do you have lessons? So how did you get into it? Well, Tell we, me, Al. we belong to the local chapter of the Barbershop Harmony Society, the Peninsulaires, which is the Palo Alto Mountain View chapter. And um, the society is very much focused on teaching men how to sing well. Great. And that's where we met. At so do they have instructors? Do they have classes? We, we have coaches. Okay. And uh, we also have um, conventions and other events where there's coaching. Um, for example, there's something called Harmony College, uh, where singers get together and can be in classroom environment. Um, but we we are constantly working on the craft. Oh, that's terrific! How d how did uh, how did you get into this, Rabin? Uh, did you uh, always like to sing? I've I've sung since I was in high school. Okay. Uh, actually, probably younger than that, if I'm honest. Uh, I was I was bebopping around even when I was in diapers with with my parents' uh, stereo system, but uh, 
Uh, it was roughly 15 years ago, I think, 15 or 16 years ago, I was uh, walking down uh, the street in um, Menlo Park during one of the Art and Wine Festivals, and I heard a quartet singing. And I walked up, and it was a quartet from the Palo Alto Mountain View chapter. And I stood there, and I was singing. The, I could figure out at the time I was singing bass. I sing lead now. And, uh, and I was singing, and after a while I said, you know, I, this, this is wonderful. i got to figure out where these guys practice. And so I walked up afterwards and asked them where they practice, and that's how I got to join the, uh, the chorus. Uh, and then these gentlemen joined subsequent to that. So you're the original person in this group? Uh, no, actually, th- this <laughs> group right. this group has a different history than that. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> well Dave's let's... actually been doing this so for. Dave. I've done it for about. I've been singing about forty six years now. And so you started same... as an infant, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right? A wee baby, <laughs> and uh, all with the same chorus. We've actually the uh, I've been to international competition three times. Wow! And uh, it's just a great time. So you're and with a chorus as well as I'm the quartet. With a, uh, with a chorus as well okay. as a quartet, but but I, I must admit we 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 sing uh, we do a lot of more performances as a quartet than we do as a chorus, but uh, it's great fun. Uh, it's a wonderful hobby. And it just lets you get out and, and let your hair down. Well, it's sing. joyous, which yeah. is it what is I love. It, it absolutely is. So how about you, Steve? How did you get involved? Well, um, I went to Coverly High School in Palo Alto here, and I was the bass in The Music Man when we put it on something um, pretty close to 50 years ago. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and then I did other forms of singing. I sang up at Foothill and in a jazz group and a madrigal group and such. And uh, there was an article in the Palo Alto Weekly which uh, featured Ramin being interviewed by a reporter. And my <laughs> wife saw the article and said, you know, you might like to try that. And uh, so I went down to the Palo Alto Mountain View chapter and, and I joined up and I did that for a few years. And then um, we formed boomerang as a as a quartet from not actually this exact group al and i were in it and we we had an australian lead singer hence the name boomerang um and uh so we've sort of evolved boomerang a little bit and we we've, we've been what about we've seven been about years? seven years together with this yeah. this, with configuration. this iteration this configuration. Yeah. And we, we get together once a week and we have dinner and we we practice we perform almost once a week and we actually hate each other incidentally <laughs> <laughs> um, can't you know, we, stand to be around each there's other there's <laughs> a lot of really nice chemistry so, in the group so do you get paid for your performances uh we we do absolutely yes. okay um, that's great yeah we do a lot of you do uh, some charity work some also. charity oh, work, sure. work as well um, and then some that some that we uh charge for um okay but uh, we all, we actually, uh, three of us run businesses, so uh, it's not exactly our day job. <laughs> you know, the, the expression, don't give up your day job, it really applies to us. So how did you get involved? Well, um, about 20 years ago, um, I live in the neighborhood near Coverly. Okay. And they were having a community center open house. So I wandered over there to see the wildlife rescue and the artist studios and whatever that were there. And that happens to be the location where the chorus was rehearsing uh, weekly mm-hmm. on Tuesday evening. So they were there at the open house as well. And I walked around the corner and I was ambushed by a quartet. <laughs> and they finagled me in to try to sing along with them. And it worked. And the first time I heard a barbershop chord coming out of my mouth, I was done. You were I hooked. Was absolutely yeah, hooked. Yeah, that's terrific. Yeah, there, there's nothing so, quite like it. So I'm wondering, do you want to do another song or two? Yeah, sure, yeah, We might absolutely. love to hear what your day jobs okay. are. <laughs> yeah. more well, here's a little song uh, that everybody learned in Sunday school. Uh, well, maybe take it did. away. <laughs> <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I got a home in glory land that outshines the sun. I got a home in glory land that outshines the sun. I got a home in glory land that outshines the sun. Way beyond the blue. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it 
shine on me and shine on you. Gonna tell what the power of love can do. Gonna let my little light shine. I want to say something about the diversity of our quartet before we All go right. on. We are a very diverse quartet. I happen to be Presbyterian. Steve happens to be Jewish. Ramin happens to be Muslim. And Al is Canadian. How about that? Eh? Yeah, we, we, we let anybody we in. We let anybody so, in. <laughs> so what do the Canadians in our audience think of so that? We, so we... Uh, we didn't all learn that song in Sunday school. Yeah, clearly, <laughs> clearly not. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Tell me, is is barbershop diverse? I mean, you know, as our country becomes more diverse, a little bit. Um, how about getting minorities on the Latinos this, and the style uh, developed um, well over a century ago? Okay. Um, but the society, Barbershop Harmony Society, which was known when it was formed as the Society for the Preservation and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America. In incorporated <laughs> the SPEBSQSA. You have that time path. <laughs> that it was formed in Tulsa, Oklahoma, but of course 1938 it was Jim Crow times and so the society was lily white uh, for a very long time. But in our chorus uh, we have uh, a black man, he's from Tennessee I think. We have uh, a Filipino guy and a Chinese fellow. So, yeah, it's, it's becoming diverse. So are you doing anything to reach out to diverse communities, other communities, as well as to the young? Yeah. Uh, is, is what, what happens in terms of perpetuating this? Um, we have a big program for the, for the youth, uh, Youth in Harmony, and, and that's a huge program now, and, and uh, we've gotten a lot of, in fact, the last the couple International champions are in the 20s, and the international chorus champion is from Westminster, and they're all college age or, or in that area. So um, they're they're really terrific, so and so you, we've got a lot of youth coming. I was up. wondering about high schools and college there's, courses. There's high school organizations, in, in yeah, colleges, yeah. Right, and yes. I suppose yeah, also we're doing in a high lot schools. In that area. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's great. Well, what what do you do? During the day, oh, uh, I'm an insurance agent. I have an agency in Los Altos. Okay, all right. Have you done that most of your life? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, first twenty years of my life, I worked as an engineer in the aerospace industry. Oh, okay. So this is a second career. Yes. All right. Well, glad you're in Los Altos. Um, how about you, Remin? Uh I run an uh, IT consulting firm. We take care of people's networks and computers. Okay. And this is how I maintain my sanity during the week. <laughs> How about you, Steve? Uh, I run a fairly large manufacturing concern, a contract manufacturing company in, in Sunnyvale okay. um, that my sister and I own. So, so when you say contract manufacturing, you mean I could come to you and say, Build I need me. you to manufacture That's my hairbrushes? Exactly. And, well, not hairbrushes right. probably, but mostly we do a lot of medical product and okay. electronics and, and power products. So you're pretty versatile in what very, you can do. Very diverse, but high tech, Silicon yeah, Valley kind I of stuff. I think everything around here yeah. is pretty much it's high a, tech. It's actually rather interesting. I don't know so, about insurance. But so the, the three of us run businesses, and that allows us actually to be able to leave in the middle of the day and go off and sing at retirement when homes and When you're the boss. And then Dave, of course, is... Retired. You're so retired. I'm, I'm retired. But I have a lot of responsibilities on different nonprofit organizations, nonprofit boards. Well, tell about the symphony. The well, California. I'm president of the board of the California Youth Symphony, and and I've been involved with that for probably about 25 years or so, okay. and uh, it's it's a great organization. We have about 500 kids involved, right here in the Palo Alto Mountain View area. Do you so play an instrument? I sing. I my <laughs> son plays an instrument, but I. Play this instrument right here. Okay. <laughs> so how about another song? How about? Sure, sure. Um, this is a song that's an American folk song that predates the American Civil War. And we like to think of it as a lament sung by a young man who stands on the verge of the wide Missouri River, having traveled for w many weeks to get there from the east. And as he looks ahead and thinks about getting to California, he realizes that he may never see his family again. 
It. I feel as if I'm that boy <coughs> on the banks of the Missouri. Thank you very much. Thank you it's so one, much. It's one of yeah. my favorite songs. It's beautiful. Yeah, it so have beautiful you song. competed in some of the national con you know? Not uh, as contests? a quartet. We we really like to perform. Okay. And and we focus on that okay. rather than competition. Do you ever attend the national? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we do. Absolutely. You go and you yeah. listen and yeah, you learn. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. yes indeed. And sing in the hallways. <laughs> singing yes. always, singing in the hallways always. Yes. How's that? So, how about some more beautiful music? Yes. How about if we sing something really modern? Okay. Now, uh, this one's only uh, 50 years old. <laughs> it's all relative. Which one is it? Country. No country. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees. Younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze, country road. Take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country road. All my memories gather round her. Miner's lady, stranger to blue water, dark and dusty, painted on the sky, misty taste of moonshine, teardrop in my eye, country road, take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country road. I hear her voice in the morning hour, she calls me. Radio reminds me of my home far away. Driving down the road, I get a feeling that I should have been home yesterday. Yesterday, country road, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country road. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country 
country road, country road. I don't want to have you ever stop, but I have a quick question since this is an, a woman's organization doing this program. How, what is there for women in terms uh, of barbershop type core singing? Well, <clears throat> as opposed to the men, the women actually have two international organizations uh, for barbershop choral singing. One is called Harmony Express. Harmony, 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 Harmony Express. Harmony, like Harmony Explosion. Harmony. Uh, <laughs> the other one, which is uh, is called the Sweet Adelines, and there are chapters. Harmony International. Harmony International. Is, is there a Sweet Adelines chapter around here? There mm -hmm. sure is. Oh, As a yeah. matter of fact, one used to rehearse at Coverly the same oh, time we okay. were there. They're okay. called the, the Mission Valley Chorus, right. and they are very, very good. They are amazing. They really so are. So how about one more song? <clears throat> okay? Yeah. Sure. All right. Good. Good. And I want to thank <clears throat> everyone <clears throat> for listening to AA <clears throat> Connections, and the music is still going on. I've been so lonely Now I'm through, I'm telling all my blues Goodbye Bye-bye blues, bye-bye blues Bells ring, birds sing Sun is shining, no more pining Just we two Smiling through, don't sigh, don't cry, bye-bye, blues. Boom, 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 bye. Bye, bye, bye to those blues. Bye, bye, bye to those blues. Don't let me hear you sigh. Bells are ringing, ringing and and birds, birds are singing, are singing and bye 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 to those boom 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 bye 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 to those boom 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 boom